Hey everyone, welcome to this week's live session. Today's topic is best books for Python. But before we begin, I'd like to thank our viewers for tuning in and actively participating in these live sessions. Let's wait for a while for people to tune in. Also, we have a dedicated team to answer all your queries. So if you have a question, let us know in the chat section below. We will get back to you as early as possible. Alright, I see a few more of them have joined. So this session will be about today's topic, which is best books for Python. It's common to get confused between thousands of resources to learning something so popular like Python. Therefore, we have compiled a list of the best books for learning Python in the year 2020. People often ask me about which Python book to choose if they are a beginner or if they are pursuing machine learning or even web development. So I have specifically kept this session to clear all those doubts so they can quickly move into learning phase rather than being stuck on researching on the best resources to learn Python. So first we will understand why learning Python is a big deal and why it is one of the most popular languages these days. Then we will go through Python books for beginners. After that, we will have a look at Python books for advanced programmers. Then we will go through Python books for specific domains. In the end, we will also compare between books and online courses. Now let us understand why is Python so important. Python is an interpreted high level interactive and object oriented scripting language. The current major version of Python is Python 3. Python has applications that span over various tech fields. Development of web applications, machine learning and data science applications, game development and various other fields. So with this, let us move ahead into our next topic that is books for beginners. Let us first discuss the best books for someone who has just started with Python. So the first book is Python Crash Course by Eric Mathews. Python Crash Course by Eric Mathews is a fast paced and comprehensive introduction to Python language for beginners who wish to learn Python programming language and write useful programs. The book aims to get you up to speed fast enough and have you writing real programs in no time at all. This 560 pages of long book majorly dissects into two parts. The first part of the book discusses the major basics of Python. The second part of the book follows by a practical approach and helps you test your knowledge by presenting three different projects. An arcade game, a simple web application and data visualizations using Python's libraries. Now moving ahead, the next book in the docket we have is Learn Python the Hard Way by Z.A. Shaw. Third edition is a collection of 52 correctly collated exercises. These exercises help you understand the working of the software, structure of a well-written program, and how to avoid and find common mistakes in the code. The book begins at all by helping you install a complete Python environment in your local system. The book then discusses various topics such as basic mathematics, variables, strings, files, loops, program design, and data structures among many others. Now with this, we will move ahead into our next book in the docket, which is Head First Python by Paul Barry. Head First Python by Paul Barry is a quick and easy fix for you if you wish to learn the basics of Python programming without having to slog through counterproductive tutorials and books. The Head First Python makes use of visual format rather than text-based approach, helping you to see and learn better and faster. The book helps you in gaining quick grasp of the fundamentals of Python programming. The book then moves to help you build your web application, exception handling, data wrangling, and other major concepts. Followed by Head First Python, we have our next topic, 
which is the books for advanced programmers. Let us now have a look at the best books aimed at people who are already familiar with Python and are ready to work using the language. The first book in the docket is Fluent Python by Luciano Ramalho. So Fluent Python by Luciano Ramalho is your hands-on guide that helps you learn how to write useful Python code by using the most neglected yet best features of the language. The book covers various concepts including Python data model, data structures, functions as objects, object-oriented idioms, control flow, and metaprogramming. Using this book, advanced Python programmers learn about Python 3 and how to become proficient in this version of the language. So followed by Fluent Python, we have Python Cookbook by David Beasley and Brian K. Jones. Python Cookbook by David Beasley and Brian K. Jones help you master your programming skills in Python 3 or help you update older Python 2 code. This cookbook is filled with recipes tried and tested with Python 3.3 is the ticket for experienced Python programmers who wish to take the approach to modern tools and idioms rather than just standard coding. The book has complete recipes for a variety of topics covering Python language and its uses, along with tasks common to many application domains. So followed by Python Cookbook, we have the next important book which is Programming Python by Mark Lutz. So Programming Python by Mark Lutz is an ideal book for programmers who have understood the fundamentals of Python programming and ready to learn how to use their skills to get real work done. This book includes in-depth tutorials on various application domains of Python, such as graphical user interfaces, the web, and system administration. The book clearly explains the commonly used tools, language syntax, and programming techniques through a brief yet precise approach. The book has many examples that show the correct usage and common idioms. So with this, we finish our books for advanced programmers. Now moving ahead, we have our next crucial topic, which is books for specific domains. Let's now go through a couple of books that focus on particular domains of Python. So the first one is Introduction to Machine Learning with Python, a guide for data scientists. This book by Sarah Judo and Andreas C. Muller teaches you how to use Python programming language to build your machine learning solutions. Throughout this book, you will learn about steps required to create a rich machine learning application using Python and scikit-learn library. Throughout this book, you will learn about the steps required to create a rich machine learning application using Python and scikit-learn library. You will also learn about the advanced methods for model evaluation and the concept of pipelines which is for encapsulating your workflow and chaining models. This book also covers the most popular machine learning algorithms along with their implementation in Python. Followed by Introduction to Machine Learning with Python, we have Django for Beginners by William S. Vincent. This book by William S. Vincent is an excellent choice for anyone who wants to build modern web application. It follows a project-based approach to learn web development with the Django framework. In this book, you will build five progressively more complex web applications starting with a simple Hello World app, progressing into a Pages app, a Message Board app, a Blog app with forms and user accounts, and finally, a newspaper app that uses a custom user model, email integration, foreign keys, authorization, permissions, and many more. Django is a framework based on Python and is extensively used as a backend in web applications. So with this, we finish the books for specific domains. Now we will enter into our next major component, which is books versus online courses. We know that people rely on different sources to get information. Some prefer books and other the online courses. So, 
let's go ahead and discuss the factors that are involved. Those were all the books that we recommend you to read while learning or working with Python, whether you are a beginner or familiar with Python. But we all know that some people prefer learning through courses rather than books because they might be habitual of taking classes on relevant subjects or for some other reason. Now let's go ahead and compare between the two most popular learning resources that is books and online courses. So the first difference between the books and the online courses is books lay out the foundations whereas on the other hand online courses are generally focused on a practical part. Followed by that the second difference is books are preferable for the technologies that do not become obsolete too often whereas on the other hand Online courses are preferable for new technologies in the industry such as data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence which are prone to find new updates every day. Followed by the second difference, the third difference is books need motivation to finish a book on one particular topic whereas on the other hand courses being interactive and are easier to complete. I see both sources as complementary to each other because courses are interactive, books provide a solid foundation and possibly more information that helps in the long run. Same goes for books. They may provide a lot of information but a supplementary course would really help in soaking in all that knowledge. There you go. By now, you must have got your answer to which Python book to choose. Whether you are just starting to code with Python or quite familiar with its concepts. We also have YouTube playlists that cover everything from the basics to advanced Python development. Don't forget to check out those if you're interested in learning through online courses along with a book. The links are added in the description box below. And with that we have reached the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Think we missed out anything important? Let us know in the live chat.